So I think um, just the mentality, maybe it's a generational thing, but feeling support from other women around you oh. is so big, right? So every victory is not just yours. It's the woman next to you. You just feel like the whole team is cheering mm -hmm. you on. Yeah, you're totally right. Actually, you mentioning that reminds me that I have, I think over the course of like the eight years that I've been in healthcare, I have seen a change. Maybe it's just because of like my own personal growth or my position in the hospital, but I often used to have more conflict with females in medicine mm -hmm. than males. Mm -hmm. And now I understand why and I understand the culture more than I previously did. But over the last couple years, like some of my best friends are the female doctors and the ones that I find myself seeking out for support and guidance for the most part. And when I get support or guidance from one of them, it actually means more to me than if I get support or guidance from a male colleague because we come from the same place, you know, to a certain extent, even though I'm a nurse practitioner and you're a doctor, like there still is, we still struggle right. um, in our own respect. So right. um, yeah, I completely agree. Getting support from your female colleagues means so much. Yeah. Um, which actually gives me a question, has a question came to my mind. So what, it, so, you know, you have an Instagram following, like a pretty large one. Um, so do I. And I do think that having Instagram or a blog or whatever makes you much more visible to females wanting to go into medicine or wanting to go into healthcare in some way. How do you feel like you've been able to use your platform to support females going through medicine or training or how do you feel like um, you are able to positively promote being a woman in medicine? I think a lot of that, I mean I try not to, I think, but I really don't think about it too much, right? I think the social media aspect is already so can be so fake mm -hmm. that if this is something that I want to pour my time and energy into, I would want it to be as close to me as possible. You know, so you'll see me pictures of my dogs and mm -hmm. you know pictures of work and then also of yoga and things that I like to do. So I try to be a good example, but the only example I know how to be is me. You're just being yourself. I'm just being myself. Right. And I think I'm more useful when if someone comes to me with a question. So I'm very responsive in my messages. So if someone does have a question or they do need guidance, I think that just makes the world that much smaller, right? So you didn't know any female interventionalists, but now you know one. Yeah. And all you have to do is just shoot her a message and she'll get right back to you whenever she has time. So um, I was mentoring this medical student who thought the things that I posted, the cases that I shared, were so interesting and so fun. And she would, you could feel her excitement. Um, and so she has progressed on and she's um, doing interviews now. And I, I called her up and I was like, how are interviews going? She was like, oh yeah, they're going great. The questions are really easy. They asked me the other, the other day, you know, as a female interventionist, what obstacles do you think you'll have to overcome? And I told them nothing and they're really confused. And I was like, why were they confused? And she was like, I don't know why. I don't think I'm going to come across anything that I can't handle. And so they asked if she knew, you know, any female intervention. She's like, oh yeah, aren't they all female? Because Michelle Manavis is one on Instagram. She's doing <laughs> yoga on the beach and throwing in G-tubes. And she looks like she's having a great time. So to me, in her world, the only intervention she knows is a female. Right, but in all actuality, it's like 99% male. <laughs> but because you're on Instagram, I feel the same way. It's like, you're just there. Like, you're available. Yeah. So that's what people see in this day and age. Yeah. You know, and like, that's great. That's a great story. <laughs> that is seriously a great story. It made me feel really good. Yeah, of course it did. Of course Speaking it did. of really good, so we were at um, the Headspace and Figs uh, event last night, and someone walked up to Danny and was like, I saw you speak at a conference <laughs> and I love you so much. That's true. That is true. So I forgot her name. I, I was so embarrassed. You can't I, remember thousands I remember of her face. I remember her face. But um, yeah, and it's crazy. And it's like you feel 
for me, I feel a little bit of, I don't, I don't want to say an imposter, but it is a little bit of an imposter syndrome because I'm just, I'm there and I do what I do. Like I'm, I did, especially when I was in school, like I was doing research, I was speaking, you know, and I've, I've spoken multiple times, but at the same time, I know there are people who are so much more accomplished than me. They just don't happen to have an Instagram account. Um, but it has given me a platform. Like it's Mm -hmm. crazy. Like it's, Mm -hmm. it's really crazy. And I can at least, even though I may not have, you know, 20 or 30 publications or, you know, right now I'm kind of still trying to find my place as a nurse practitioner. I am able to like emotionally support people through the process of becoming whatever you want to become, you know, in in my realm, like becoming a nurse practitioner, there's only like, I don't know, 195 ways that you can do it. So it can get very (laughs) confusing. So at least I'm there to support other women wanting to go through. And I'm sure it's like similar for you, you know? Um, I mean, the process itself is already so difficult. Yeah. You know, the hours are long. There's not a whole lot of guidance for these young women out there. Right, and so you have just, a lot you have life to yeah. like go through too. So I think it's really important to show what you're doing outside of that, you mm-hmm. know, to support going through this very long, grueling yeah. <laughs> training because there there is more to life. So there's more there's also the sense of responsibility though to like keep giving back. Yeah. And my hope is that if someone reaches out to me and I do take time to respond one day when they get to where I am or where they want to be, you know, it'll be the same for them and exponentially we'll just grow this big network of support. Yeah. I agree.